There's actually a, a better way to set up multiple users uh, than doing it kind of one by one. So we have one video where I show how to add permission sets, permission group sets, permission set licenses to uh, users using Flow. And now automating the entry of users also cuts into that time. So uh, what you'd want to do is use Data Loader or another import tool to uh, set up users. And I'm quickly going to show how to just pull profile, profile IDs, um, role IDs, and then I'll also be showing a template that has some values that you'll need in order to import users. Uh, and you can view that and clone that in order to mass import. So first thing over here is we'll jump into our template and you can see I just have first name, last name, email, username. Obviously you wanna pop, possibly keep these the same role, profile, nickname, alias. And then you have these fields here which are required. Uh, and I will also be linking a uh, Salesforce article showing you know, the, where to find these values, but this is like the local locale key, um, email encoding, uh, time zone, which is all required when you're setting up a user. You don't really notice this in the UI as you're hitting like new user and setting everything up. So you just want to go ahead and put these in bulk. Obviously, if you have a international organization and you're doing this across different time zones and things like that, you want to take into consideration, right? Um, so if I jump back into Salesforce, the couple IDs that I'll need to pull is profile. So if I jump into my profiles, my setup menu, and I click on one, you'll see that the ID is up here. Uh, and I actually want to start after the 2F, so 00E is where I'd want to start. I can go ahead and put something like that into my sheet. And then if I'd want to pull roles, same thing. I'm clicking into the role and then over here, I'm starting after the 2F, starting at 00E, pulling the rest of that, boom. And then from here to work with the template, it's really, you know, simple to fill this out. Um, you can even, make a formula to make sure or to keep these things the same if email and username are typically going to be the same. And you can also use a formula formula to set up your nickname or alias. You can say, you know, first letter of your first name, plus the first three letters of your last is the alias. Um, you know, however you want to set that up uh, and use that in the system. Um, from here, what you'll want to do is um, just pop up data loader. Um, and you can actually do a user import. Uh, and you can map this template and the fields pretty much map identical to what you'll need to um, map to. Thanks.